Becoming a day trader is probably one of the most stressful and also one of the hardest things you could possibly do in this world. Well, at least in my opinion. I've been trading for a little over two years now and I can say this is the hardest journey I've ever been on. I've also started multiple businesses that involves my trading and trading has still been the hardest thing. So I've been dying to make this video but I wanna show you guys exactly what I would do if I had to restart today. I think the biggest mistake that I made as a young trader is I was using way too much of my own money. And yes, you can't use other people's money but I'm gonna explain what I mean. I saved up like ten dollars to $12,000 from my everyday job just so I could put it in the stock market. This was a terrible decision. I ended up losing every single dollar that I put into my stock account. It was terrible, but it was kind of a good thing. What do you mean by that? Now, you might be wondering, why is it good that you lost ten dollars to $12,000? There's no way that's good. But it actually ended up helping me now more than it's hurt me. Like I said, I lost a ton of money when I first started trading, but all of these losses actually helped me become the trader that I am today. So if I had to restart right now, this is what I would do. If you're just starting to get into trading and you know, you're know you losing some money, you don't really know where you're at, the best thing for you to do is to start paper trading. I've been preaching this for so long and people just overlook it and don't think it's a good idea because it's not real money, but paper trading can increase your trading game significantly. If you don't know what paper trading is, it's basically where you can use fake money to trade options or trade stocks and you can turn it into however much money you want. Like I said, it is fake money though, so obviously there's no return for you but it's all about the experience and the things that you learn whenever you are using this. There's a few apps that you can actually paper trade off of, one being TradingView, you can paper trade on Thinkorswim, and you can do it on Weeble. And if you do wanna use Weeble, make sure you click the link in my description and use my referral link. So, once you start making a paper trading account and you get into it, there's a bunch of different ways you can go about actually learning how to trade. But remember, the number one part of learning how to trade is experience, which is why I lost so much money starting because I used all of my money to get that experience. Also, if you save up 10 to 12,000 dollars don't use all of that money trading please put away most of it and use a very small amount of capital if you do okay so we got paper trading out of the way let's start getting into some education investing in your education is extremely important whether it's investing money into a course or investing time into watching YouTube videos it's funny people are always asking me like champ how do I trade like what do I do to do this how do you do this but all of these answers are on the internet for free now it might not be my strategy that you can see, but there's so much information on YouTube that's completely free if you don't have the money to invest in any kind of courses. That's actually exactly what I did. After I lost that ten dollars to $12,000 that I told you about, I didn't have any money to mess with. So I went on YouTube, I started looking up all kinds of different trading videos. I was watching hour to two hour long videos at a time, writing notes down in my notepad, going over literally all kinds of different trading strategies. I think the main thing that actually helped me was making my strategy very simple. Instead of using all these indicators and all these things all over your charts that make it look so messy, I just simplified my trading strategy and I was able to make way more money and be way more consistent. A big thing as a younger trader when you're first starting is also understanding risk management and emotion. You get into these trades and you get so emotionally attached that you have to win that you end up losing more money than you're making in the long run. You're not following your risk management, you're not following your stop losses, and you're not following your technical analysis. And it's because you're so absorbed in thinking that you have to win on every single trade. But I'm gonna tell you, the reason that 90%, 95% of retail traders don't make any money in the market is because their losses outweigh their wins. You could seriously have 10 wins and one loss, but if your 10 wins are small and your one loss is big, you could wipe your entire account with just one loss. And that's the exact mistake that I made as a 18 year old day trader trading with 10 to twelve thousand dollars so yes if you have time to invest or money to invest either way you can find a good trading strategy that can work for you but it's all about patience I'm telling you you probably think that you know a lot more than you do but you really don't like trading is one of the hardest things that I've ever done and I'm not trying to tell you guys this to scare you or anything like that but it's tough, it's not easy. If everybody could just go in and make 100 grand a week or 100 grand a month or even 100 grand a year day trading in the stock market, we would all be rich. I don't even wanna tell you guys how much money I've lost entirely in the stock market from when I was 18 to now, but it's a huge amount. Now, I barely ever lose anymore and I'm making a ton of money, more than I ever have, but I still made a lot of mistakes as a young trader and I wasn't handed everything. I wasn't given money by my parents to trade with. Uh, I didn't get put into school and learn any of that kind of stuff. I had to do it all by myself. I didn't have a mentor to teach me how to trade. I didn't have any resources that would benefit me other than my own time. Another problem that I had when I first started trading is I was watching all these traders making all 
all this money driving their Lamborghinis, their Ferraris, their helicopters, their jets, all of that jazz. And you start to compare this to yourself. You almost start to wonder like why you can't make the money that they're making. They're a normal human being just like you are. And that's when I realized comparison is absolute poison. You cannot compare yourself to others because you have no idea what's going on in their life compared to yours. I bet if you went and looked at most of these traders' portfolios and actually saw how much money they were making, you would be really surprised. You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. I'm sure 90% of these traders showing you guys these million dollar cars, these you know Lamborghinis, these yachts, in reality are renting these things and are super unhappy with their lives and are trying to sell you a course or some kind of mentorship program to make you get their lifestyle. But the reality is, that lifestyle takes years of hard work. You can't just get that lifestyle after one day. And that's when I realized that I have to change something with my attitude when it comes to trading. And this is probably the biggest thing of all is not worrying about the dollar amount, but worry about the percent amount. When I first started trading, I started trading at like 50 to $100 a day. Like I, my goal was to literally make 20, $40, 60 bucks a day just so I could afford food. Most of these young retail traders are trying to go in and get these 100% plays that are gonna 10X their portfolio or 100X their money. And I'm sorry to tell you, but it's just not very likely. Usually when things are too good to be true, it's because they are too good to be true. And that's why most of these people on social media flexing their $100,000 gain in plays and all of these things off of super risky plays are awful. It's terrible. It gets these young retail traders' minds thinking they can get rich quick and make hundreds of thousands of dollars a day at 18, 19 years old, and it's just not likely. Am I saying you can't make that much money in a day at that age? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that personally, a realistic goal should not be that if you don't have that much capital to start with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sum it up. If I had to restart right now, I would not use all the money I have in my bank account. I would make sure that I am paper trading. Please get into paper trading and use that for your advantage. The second thing I would do is I would learn. I would stop trying to just make so much money every day and risk all my money and I would actually take the time and invest it in myself to learn how to become a successful trader. The third thing I would do is just watch my risk management. Like I said, you have to follow your technical analysis and the things that you have learned, regardless if you're gonna win or lose. And by doing that, your wins are gonna outweigh your losses, which is the way to become a successful day trader. And last but not least, stop comparing yourself to these people online with all this money, flexing their gains, their cars, their yachts, anything. Again, comparison is poison. You gotta stop comparing yourself to others and all of these day traders online because that's just gonna make it worse and worse for you. Because in all honesty, I'm the one to know, you will never be good enough, so stop trying to be good enough. I went through all the same things that you're probably going through right now as a young trader. If you don't know, I'm 21 years old and I'm making over six figures a year trading and I didn't just start that way. Like I said, no handouts, I had no mentor. I literally just got up and did the work. And if you don't believe this is possible for you and you're 18, 19, 20, you can even be 30 or 40, look at me. I'm living proof that you can do this. It is extremely hard. It's not gonna be easy. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. But I promise if you put in the work, you put in the time and you follow your rules, you will be successful as well. And that goes for anything, not just trading, not just as an entrepreneur, but in any aspect of life, if you go by those rules, you will be successful. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure you use my Weevil link to sign up below in the description. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.